this is the first time on this channel I'm actually reviewing someone else's sneakers. Perfect. Hello broskies, Erkin back and I'm doing something a little different today. On today's episode, I am reviewing the Nike Air Max 95 White and Pure Platinum. Now this is a bit of a weird one. This is the first time on this channel I'm actually reviewing someone else's sneakers. And I know some of you are gonna be a bit skeptical just because you can't really get the feel of what the sneaker is actually like if you haven't even tried them on. But I've actually got a few of the 95 models so it's pretty much the same thing. Now you already know what my stance is when it comes to the Air Max 95. Currently at this date in January 2021, it is still my second favorite Air Max of all time. And I'm just talking generally I'm not talking about specific models or specific packs and this is actually my missus pair of trainers so the b-roll it isn't me with shaved legs just in case you're wondering so I'm a big fan of this model of course but I also took into account what my missus felt about the sneakers because yes I can give my opinion about the shoe it's just it's nice to get someone else's opinion and how they feel on foot and also what they like and don't like about it so you could call this a team effort but going into the nitty-gritty of of this sneaker and it is of course from the essential pack and it is pretty much what it says on the tin i could claim it to be essential for you to have all year round not just for the winter or even the summer and i have to kind of agree with them i kind of wish now i went for the essential pack in terms of the all black colorway compared to the ones i have actually bought and reviewed on the channel the suede and new back materials on my pair is just a nightmare to maintain so these are actually retailing at 145 pounds over here in the uk but we managed to get her a nice old bargain because they were on sale. I think she picked them up for about £75, I believe. And she was happy as Larry, believe me. But if you are looking to get a pair, I will leave some links down below. Now, if you are looking for a summer banger, these for me are as clean as they get. Because most of the materials are indeed leather, trying to keep these clean won't be that much of a hassle. You do actually also have mesh around where the lacing is, which is also a pretty nice touch where they've mixed it up. Now, you've got those lace hoops, which are pretty much embedded where the mesh panels lay and this gives it a nice sort of see-through look now it is a very minimalistic shoe in terms of the setup if you're used to the air max 95's design it's pretty much the same thing of course we've got the leather toe box as well one thing i found very nice is the reflective panels on the tongue and also at the heel counter not that this sneaker needed it but it's still a nice touch in my opinion now i've got those mesh materials on the tongue at the front with the line on sort of at the top more so and of course we've got that air max badge right at the top now inside which gives it that sort of polar bear look if you don't mind me saying it where the sock liner is it's got that nice fleece like material now something i really do like and it's not really mentioned quite enough well on this channel anyway the tongue has actually got this strap to it that goes underneath the insole so that gives it a nice snug feeling to the tongue where it sits on the top of your foot now going to the heel counter like i've mentioned it's got that same 95 design with that reflective 3m material at the back and finishing off on the mid and outsole it's your pretty standard setup again just in that all white finish and boy oh boy that outsole gets dirty so quickly i'm not gonna lie to you broskies trying to keep that outsole clean is gonna be a myth now in terms of the sizing it is pretty much a true to size fit in my opinion now when you initially try these on just like my missus has said as well they do fit a lot tighter than some other sneakers you're used to but as you loosen them up over the next few wears these will fit as snug as ever so my advice is stick to your normal sizing but if you do have wide feet i'd say go one size up now we've come to the part of the video where this segment is essential get it essential essential pack no I tried, I tried. But I have to decide whether these are a buy or a buy. Now I know you know, I know you know, that I know, that you know, that I know. You, you know what I'm trying to say. You know that I'm a fan of the Air Max 95. And granted, I haven't actually tried these on myself. But I've tried on the Essential Pack before, the smoke grey colour. 
Just a few tweaks here and there to the materials in terms of those leather panels. A great classic sneaker, it's mad to think these were actually a running sneaker once upon a time. But either way, I cannot sing the praises of this trainer enough. A great all round sneaker, very durable, very comfortable once you've worn them in. And these will defo hold up for many years to come. I am indeed gonna give this sneaker a buy. But broskies, what are your thoughts on this Air Max 95? Is it one you're thinking of investing for the summer? Have you already copped a pair before? Leave all your comments down below and I will be pinning the best one. Anyways broskies, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Hit me up on the IG because I do tend to post previews to upcoming sneakers that I am reviewing. So show me some love on there. And of course, as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share and my broskies until the next episodes take care